Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Meatball Guys. Back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Psycho Break, which is the Japanese version of The Evil Within. You can download this version of the game free with Xbox Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. All you have to do is switch your region and your settings to Japan. This game offers an additional 1,735 gamer score. The 735 gamer score is going to require you to purchase the DLC. Now, a few months ago, when they added Resident Evil 7 to Game Pass, I had posted a video showing you guys how to download and play the grotesque version, which is the Japanese version of the game. Now, the only thing is, is that that game also has DLC that you need to buy, and to do that, you would need to purchase it with Japanese yen. Now, that's totally possible. All you have to do is purchase a Japanese gift card, an Xbox One, of course, and load it up into your account, and then you can purchase games in the Japanese region. The only thing is, is that with these games that are rated Z, traditionally, these are really hard to get a hold of because in Japan, you need to verify that you're over the age of 18 with the Japanese credit card. And this is the only way to purchase Rated Z games over there in Japan. So this makes it really hard to purchase the games if you're not from Japan because you would need a Japanese credit card to do so. So I like giving you guys a heads up when these stacks come to Game Pass because you're able to play a rare version of a game which could be like five or six times the price of the game on eBay. So you don't want to go that route if you can just download it for free using Game Pass. So quick summary. This game actually does not have Z-rated DLC, so you can actually purchase the DLC for this game, being that you don't need to go through that age verification. However, that Resident Evil Grotesque version that I was talking about, unfortunately, that DLC is rated Z, and you would need to verify your age with the Japanese credit card to be able to purchase that DLC and get that completion. But with this one, again, the DLC is not rated Z, and you can get this full completion because luckily the content doesn't have a Z rating, and we can go ahead and purchase it by loading up some Japanese yen into our profile. Obviously, you only want to do that if you're serious about getting that full completion. What you want to do is switch your region to Japan. You can do that by going into your settings. You want to go down to the system settings, and then you want to go to language and location. After that, you're going to go down to the location and you're going to switch it to Japan. You don't need to switch the language or anything else. All you need to do is switch the location. After you switch the location to Japan, your Xbox is going to restart. And at this point, you're going to be able to play any Japanese Game Pass games because your Xbox thinks you're in Japan. Now, if you search Evil Within, you're not going to find the game because it has a separate title in Japan. In Japan, the game isn't called Evil Within. It's called Psycho Break. Now, if you search Evil Within, I found that it actually shows Psycho Break 2, which is Evil Within 2. However, Evil Within 2 has not been added to Game Pass yet. Once it is added to Game Pass, I can imagine we'll get the Japanese version, Psycho Break 2 as well. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that one because I can imagine they're definitely going to end up adding it being that Xbox purchased Bethesda. Now, if we search Psycho, as in Psycho Break, it still shows Psycho Break 2, but I actually wasn't able to find Psycho Break, which is Evil Within 1. So what I ended up having to do is going to my library and going to the Game Pass section that way. What you can do is you can go down to Full Library and then go to Xbox Game Pass. And this is going to show all of the games on Japanese Xbox Game Pass. Now I'm not too sure why my footage is lagging like this right now. I'm going to have to figure that out. Hopefully I'm not having issues with my capture card. But basically you scroll all the way down in the Game Pass games in the Japanese Game Pass section and you're going to find it at the very bottom. So after that, you're going to install Psycho Break, AKA Evil Within Japanese version. And at this point, you're going to be able to play the Japanese stack of Evil Within. In terms of the achievements, as I mentioned, it's possible to get a full 1000 gamer score in this game. However, if you want the additional 700 plus gamer score, you would need to purchase a Japanese Xbox gift card, load your account up with some Japanese yen, and purchase the DLC with the Japanese yen. Besides that, the game is a really difficult completion. True Achievements shows that it takes on average 60 to 80 hours to get the full 1000 gamer score. Just to give you an idea, you have to beat the game in under 5 hours. You also have to play through the whole game without using any upgrades. You need to 
play through the game and purchase all of the upgrades. You also need to play the game on the hardest level. And after you do that, you unlock the very hard difficulty level, which I've heard is really hard. So yeah, I'm not too confident that anyone is going to be completing this game two times to full completion, but I'm sure there's a handful of people out there that have done it and much respect to those people. I can imagine that if I was able to get the full 1000 gamer score in the game, I probably wouldn't want to run it back and do it all over again, but who knows. I actually haven't completed this game. I've completed about three chapters in it a couple years ago, and when I did, I got about three chapters into the game and I was like, I have not unlocked any achievements yet. And uh, that's pretty much what got me away from the game. I stopped playing it at that point. So. Yeah, just know that the achievements are really hard, but if you're a big Evil Within fan, you can go ahead and stack the game twice, get yourself, you know, almost, well, a little over 3,500 gamer score. And right here, you can see the Japanese DLC. You get a 10% discount by having Game Pass, so it's going to be a little bit cheaper. So yeah, if you're interested in getting the DLC and going for that full completion, you're going to need to load up that Xbox gift card with some Japanese yen. To do that, you'd have to look online to see you know, if any retailers are selling a Japanese uh, Xbox gift card so you can redeem it using a VPN and load up your account. That's basically how you do it. I actually have a video on how to redeem games and purchase games from other regions if you guys want to check that out. I'll try to get it in the description down below. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy another Japanese stack. If you guys are wondering what other Japanese stacks are available on Xbox Game Pass, you have Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, um, the grotesque version. You also have Grand Theft Auto um, Japanese version, and then now you have Psycho Break. So we have three games total that have different achievement lists now on Japanese Game Pass. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this heads up. Let me know if you guys are going to go for that full completion or, you know, how far you got in Evil Within, the regular version. I'm curious to know how far you guys got and if you guys were able to, you know, unlock any of these really difficult achievements. Now, two things before I go. First and foremost, if you switch your region back to your, you know, regular region, whether it's the USA or Canada or wherever you're located, United Kingdom, so on and so forth, when you switch back and you try to run this game, it's going to say that you don't own it to put in the disc. That's because to continue playing this game, you need to stay in the Japanese region. So anytime you want to pick up and play this game, you're going to need to switch to the Japanese region. That way, it recognizes the game with Japanese Game Pass and you can run it. Otherwise, it will not run in your local region. That is unless you own the game, of course. Now, second thing, I know there's going to be some people in the comments asking if the game is in Japanese and, you know, if you can switch it, things like that. All of the voice acting is in English and all of the text is in English by default. At least that's what I found. So no worries in terms of you know trying to navigate through the game without being able to read anything. I know we ran into that situation trying to play the Asian version of Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, if you play that version, you pretty much can't read anything. You need to use like Google Translate with your camera. As you can see, everything right here is in English, even though I'm playing the Cycle Break version, which again is the Japanese version of Evil Within. So it should be really easy to make your way through this, being that everything is still in English. Um, well, not easy, but you guys know what I mean. The achievements are really hard if you're going for that full 1000 gamer score. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and check out the achievements. As you can see here, you can't even read it unless you um, understand Japanese or can read Japanese, and there we go. What that says in Japanese, I can tell you, is Psycho Break. And yeah, we have another 1,735 gamer score up for grabs. I'm really digging all of these stacks with Japanese Game Pass. I'd say keep them coming. Hopefully, we'll get to see Evil Within 2, the Japanese version, which is also called Psycho Break 2, added to Game Pass eventually. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 15 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.